Hi, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to add textures to the generated trench broom map that appears inside of Godot. So the first step is going to be to add a textures folder to our project. I choose to put it in assets textures. Inside of the textures folder, you're going to want to put subfolders. These are texture collections. Uh, do not try to make any other kind of folder organization. Um, if you try to put tile, say, directly in the textures folder like that, it won't get picked up by Trench Broom and therefore also not by Funkado. Um, if you try to put it inside of a deeper subfolder, uh, it also won't get picked up by Trench Broom, so don't try to do this. Just fill these folders inside of textures with textures. That's it. Um, I'll go over what special is in a minute. Uh, I think for most purposes, you're just gonna need world or whatever you wanna call it. it doesn't have to be called world maybe main or something, and a special. Um, let's go to the Funkado map. Let's go over here to the map settings, which we had to add last time. Um, and let's just change the textures dir to be the correct texture location. Assets, textures for me. As you can see here, this determines where the clip and skip textures are located. That's why I created this separate folder for special. If you want, you could avoid creating that and maybe put them both in the world folder, something like that maybe. Uh, change the place that you want the uh, texture to be uh, determined. Um, for information on what clip and skip are, check out the Funkado documentation. If we go over to the textures section here um, and we scroll down to the skip it section, um, it will describe roughly the behavior that occurs when you um, apply a clip or skip texture to a brush. Um, general rule of thumb listed here, if you want your entities to collide with a brush, use clip. And if you want them to pass through, use skip. So skip is no uh, collision, no visibility. Clip is invisible wall. All right, so back to Godot. Um, the one other thing that we're gonna wanna change here, entity FGD, we're gonna just go ahead and set that using quick load here to the FGD that we created in the last video. That's not directly related to textures, but uh, it's something we need to do here, so I'm just gonna get it out of the way. All right, next step is to go to Trench Broom. Uh, we need to make these textures visible. If we go to Face and we try to do it, ugh, we don't have any. So um, go to View, Preferences, wait for the window to open, click the game, and then right here put the path to your Godot project. Um, if we were another game like Half-Life or whatever, this would probably be the path to the Half-Life installation. The important thing is that it's the folder where mods are installed. And if we go to the Trench Broom manual, uh, in the mod section, every game has a default mod which is always loaded by Trench Broom. Default mod for Quake is id1. So we are adding our default mod. This is the mod that is not really a mod, it's the base game content. So, the folder where that mod will be installed, for me, is my home folder, slash funk, which is the name that I've given this tutorial project. When I've typed that, I click apply. By the way, you can also click these three dots to select it with a pop-up instead of having to type it manually. Okay, hit apply, okay. We got some stuff printed here, no errors. Looks good. Um, if we go to the texture browser, we're not seeing anything still. Um, that's because there's a couple more steps. We added the folder where the mods are installed, but we haven't actually enabled any of the mods. So what we have to do is go to this map option. By the way, this right side menu can be enabled and disabled with control five. Should be open by default when you open trench room though. Inside of the mods folder, go ahead and click assets, enable it. There you go. Now the textures are loaded. Uh, but they're not actually available yet in Trench Broom. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and do Reload Texture Collections, and that will kind of refresh everything. And now over here in the Face section, we can go to Settings um, in the Texture Browser, and we can double-click these to enable them the same way that we enabled that mod earlier. Click Browser to return to the browser, and now we can see the different textures. So we can, of course, use the clip texture to apply a certain collision behavior to different faces. We can apply the tile texture to apply um, 
well, an albedo texture. Um, and we can use the skip texture also to apply a custom collision behavior. Um, Funkado will figure that out when we import the map. I'm also just going to go ahead and give a face here um, a uh, custom texture just to show what that looks like. All right, um, now that we're done, I'm going to save. I'm going to return to Godot. We have everything configured here. We have the Funkado map selected, so in the 3D view, we should have a build button. Click build, and our textures are now there. Um, that's everything for this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys around.